In the serene valleys of feudal Japan, shrouded in the soft whispers of the morning fog, there stood a samurai known as Isamu. His prowess in battles was legendary, and his name was whispered amongst the people with reverence and fear. Yet, after all those battles that he fought on battlegrounds, within Isamu's heart still raged a war far greater than any he had fought on the battlefield. After many, many lonely nights of searching for his next battle, one moonlit evening, as cherry blossoms danced in the gentle breeze, in the middle of an old village road, Isamu's path crossed with that of a Zen monk named Kaito. The monk, with no more than his robes and a set of worn prayer beads, shared with Isamu the profound teachings of the Buddha, speaking of a peace that could quell the fiercest of storms within one's spirit. They spent a whole night talking and sharing their knowledge. Isamu, deeply touched by the monk's wisdom, began to seek the stillness that Kaito spoke of. He delved into the Buddha's teachings, embracing the principles of compassion and the pursuit of enlightenment over the glory of battle. As the seasons changed, so did Isamu. The villagers who once cowered at his shadow now sought his presence for guidance. Isamu had become a symbol not of fear, but of hope, a testament to the strength that lies in kindness. With the passage of time, Isamu's tales of valor were overshadowed by the legacy he carved as a sage. His insights, sharp and clear as the edge of his sword, sliced through the veils of ignorance and suffering. In his twilight years, Isamu erected a humble temple on a mountain crest, from where he could gaze upon the valley he once ruled. There, he spent his days in deep meditation, imparting wisdom to those who journeyed to seek his teachings. The legend of Isamu, the samurai who exchanged his sword for the Staff of Enlightenment, resonated through generations. It was a narrative of metamorphosis, a chronicle of the enduring triumph of inner tranquility and the luminous power of benevolence. Many other soldiers and warriors acknowledged Isamu's teachings and sheeted their swords for the last time to continue following Isamu's path to enlightenment and inner peace. 